Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to learn a very important topic of this uh, unit, which is rule number six, commonly known as general method to find out particular integral. Okay, so let us see what this rule says. So, whenever uh, we have seen some five uh, different rules for particular integral and you have seen that those particular rules are nothing but uh, the rules for the specific function. Okay, as the name says general method, this rule will be applicable for all the functions in general. Okay, so let us see what this rule says. Let f of xy be any function of x and y and let f of d d dash can be factorized into linear factor. That is the most important thing that we have here in this uh, rule that you have to break down the function of f of d d dash into linear factor then only we can proceed to the PR. Okay. Uh, linear factor of the type d minus m d dash and then resolve into partial fraction. If suppose there is a complex, uh, is there is a quadratic factor, then we have to uh, make it as a linear factor, or then you have to operate the each factor independently. Okay, that is the rule says. So it would be something like one upon d minus m d dash. Actually, it is like one upon f of d d dash. Then you have to express into linear factor of the form like this. It uh, it. Uh, may uh, this f of d d dash may have more than one linear factors okay so that needs to be taken care of 1 upon d minus m d dash into f of x y then what you have to do is you just have to take the integration of this function where the argument x and y remain x remain as it is and the second argument y is replaced by c minus mx okay dx where what is this c this c is a constant uh, and uh, after the integration when we substitute y is equal to c minus mx this uh, after the integration you have to resubstitute so that in the particular integral there should not be any constant okay because we have seen in the particular integral we don't have any constant that's why you have to resubstitute after integration the value of c okay so now those who are very much interested in how we can get this, how we can get this, so they can solve this problem, they can solve this problem uh, with the help of uh, Lagrange's uh, equation, okay. The formula that we are going to make use of is obtained by Lagrange's equation, that is you have to write the, this, uh, making use of this and write down this as uh, what we can say is uh, p p plus q q is equal to r then write down this auxiliary equation and then uh, allow or uh, use uh, rule, uh, method 1, 2 or 3 to get the solution of the type line. This can be proved okay, with the help of Lagrange's equation. Now on, the, on this rule let us take a problem. Okay. If I am taking, uh, if I am saying let us take a problem, so obviously this uh, problem is on we are going to solve with the help of general method. So the problem is of solve means we have to find out CF as well as PR because of right hand side. Okay, so let us first of all write down the given thing. So you can start with given this. That is what is this? This is d square. This is d d dash minus 6 d dash square operating on z is equal to y into cos x okay now what you need to do is you just write down its auxiliary equation so what its auxiliary equation its auxiliary equation is m square plus 2m my sorry it's uh, m minus 6 is equal to 0 and what are its factors factors of m square is m into m and factors of minus 6 is 3 into minus 2 minus 6 minus 2m plus 3m is plus m okay so m is equal to minus 3 then plus 2 okay or if you want you can write order is not important 2 minus 3 
So if you have these roots, you can easily write down complementary function. So what is my complementary function? 5 1 y plus 2x plus 5 2 y minus 3x. Where what is this 5 1 and 5 2? This 5 1 and 5 2 are the arbitrary functions. Okay. So, after this CA, as I said, I am highly interested in particular integral because we are discussing this uh, rule. So, let us see the particular integral now. So, what is the requirement for rule number 6 is that uh, you must, you must, let me write this first, P i is equal to, P i is equal to 1 upon, what is it? d square plus d d dash minus 6 d dash square into what is it y into cos x okay so this is pi now what we need to do is very first thing that you need to do is express this in terms of linear factors so what are linear factors to this so the linear factors are Yes, d plus, sorry, d minus 2d, d minus 2d dash and d plus 3d dash. If you have any confusion to this, you can just uh, multiply d into d, d square, 3d dash minus 2d dash, d dash minus 6d dash square, that's correct, into y cos x, okay? Now what we are going to do is we are just going to replace y by c minus mx. Okay. So what is the value? Okay. So let me write this as d minus 2d dash and applying this to this it's like 1 upon d plus 3d dash into y cos x and then you just need to substitute y is equal to c minus mx if it is minus you write minus if it is plus you write plus okay so it is 1 upon d minus 2d dash into what is it into i can write it as integration of y that is c plus 3x into cos x dx okay c plus 3x into cos x dx now you just have to apply integration by parts. So now I am going to make use of the formula that I have already stated. The general for formula when we have one function to be this and uh, one function to be algebraic and other is trigonometric or anything. Okay. So 1 upon d minus 2d dash applying integration by parts to this. So what is it? First function integration of cos integration of cos is sin x minus derivative of this so derivative of constant is 0 derivative of 3x is 3 into double integration of this so already we have one integration of sin x as uh, sorry cos x is sin x and now derivative of sin x sorry integration of sin x sorry so that is minus cos x okay so what formula I have used? I have used integration, uh, integration of uh, c plus 3x into cos x dx or just uh, let me write it as integration of u into v dx one time is u integration of v dx minus derivative of first into double integration of v dx square. Okay, that is the another form of integration by parts. Now we got this. So this minus minus become plus. Okay. So now this minus minus become plus. Okay. Now, so what we need to do is now apply the same thing. Okay. So it is uh, now when you apply this to here, what we, we need y. So just because we need y, so what you need to do is we just uh, replace uh, the value of c uh, c plus 3x as y and then we again continue okay so it is uh, yeah 
So let me write this one as 1 upon d minus 2 d dash into what is y plus 3x that is y into sin x plus 3 cos x. And if you remember I have already written the rule like after integration you have to substitute the value of c. Okay, now this becomes a problem of rule number 6 again. So what you need to do is just replace y by what is it? Replace y by what? Replace y by c minus 2x. Okay. So here you can write uh, y is equal to c plus 3x. And here you can write integration of what is it? y minus 2x into sin x plus 3 cos x dx. Is that c minus 2x? Okay. Where what is y? You just need to give the justification y is c minus 2x. Now integrate this. Again apply integration by, oh sorry, that's c. Okay, again apply integration by parts like this. So, you can write it as, uh, what is it? What is it? C minus 2x into integration of sine is minus cos x. Then derivative of this is minus 2 into integration of sine is minus cos x. Okay, and then integration of minus cos x is minus sin x. So it is this, okay, this completes the integration over here. Now plus 3 times integration of cos x is sin x. Okay, that's correct. Now what is c minus uh, 2x? That's y, y, okay, minus y cos x. This is minus minus plus minus. So this is minus 2 sin x plus 3 sin x. So this is nothing but minus y cos x plus minus y cos x plus sin x. So this is my final pi. Okay. Now once you get the cf and pi, don't forget to write down the final answer. Don't forget to write down the final answer. That is the general solution. Okay. So let me write down it with a different pain. Therefore, the general, and what is the another name of general? Complete, okay. Therefore, the general solution, general solution or complete solution is Z is equal to CF plus PI, okay. So, Z is equal to what is CF? What is CF? Remember, Y plus 2x plus phi 2 y minus 3x and what is my pi? My pi is minus y cos x plus sin x where where phi 1 and phi 2 are arbitrary functions. Okay? So I hope this is making some sense and uh, you know how to apply this uh, rule number 6. Now, few remarks I would like to make. Whatever problem we have uh, taken uh, on rule number 1, rule number 2, 3, 4, 5, all those problems can be solved with the help of rule number 6. All the rules 1 to 5 are nothing but the special cases of rule number, rule number 6. Okay, so now I would like to ask you one question. The problem that we have solved with the help of rule number 6. So my question is, by which rule? Rule number 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Out of this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. By which rule we can also use to get the same answer to this problem. Okay, so I want you to just uh, write down your uh, answer in the comment section like uh, we can apply rule number whatever rule number you want so just type uh, this problem can be solved by rule number so and so okay so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you